Quick question, have you been building voice AI agents lately on Vappy and realized that you can't easily add your custom knowledge as you could just a few weeks ago? My name is Quincy, I'm the founder of Good Looking AI. We offer voice AI solutions to businesses to help streamline operations, cut costs, and save time on tedious and mundane tasks. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy straightforward method on how you can start adding custom knowledge to your voice AI agents on Vappy again. And by the end of this video, you'll have clear actionable steps on how you can start adding these knowledge to your AI agents. Let's dive into it. Okay, so if you've been building out voice AI agents on Vappy, maybe a few weeks ago, you may have noticed that before we could just go to our files and upload our documents and then click on assistance and uh, select the document that we just uploaded but with vappy's recent updates we can no longer do this so i wanted to show you a quick and straightforward method using tree so that we can get back to adding in our custom knowledge so let's navigate to tree and in short what tree is it's just an ai tool that allows businesses to uh, find and organize documents and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sign up as I already did right here. And then you're going to land on this page. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on API keys and we're going to create a new key. And I'm just going to name mine's Vappy. And then also the agent that I'm going to be signing this uh, file to. So Vappy and then I'm going to put Eve. And then I'm going to generate new API key. Now, this API key, very important. Do not show this to people. Uh, it, it's a secret key, essentially. So yeah, make sure that you don't show it. Now, we're gonna navigate back to Vappy and we're going to click on the tab below and we're gonna click on provider credentials and we wanna find the component for tree. Okay, so we're going to add it right here. Let's hit save. Now what we want to do is we want to navigate to the API reference documentation. And where we want to go to is the files. And when we're in here, we're going to upload the file. And we're going to hit play. Now, we want to make sure that we add in our VAPI API key. So I'm going to add mine in right now. To do that, you're going to navigate to the link below with your account name and click on API keys and then you're going to copy it. We are going to paste it in right here. And I created this document with all the promotions that the med spa, that the spa clinic will be providing. So this is what we're gonna be working with. Uh, again, you're gonna apply it to your specific files, but in my case, I have this document right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to upload this. We're gonna open it. And then I'm going to send a request. Now, with this response, we got a 201, meaning that it worked well. Now, what we really need is just the ID and also the URL, which we're going to use to create a knowledge base so that we can use it with our AI assistants. But because we're using Treve, we want to navigate back to the documentation and you're going to scroll and you're going to go to the customization, bring your own vectors, and then select the tree. And then we wanna use this format so that we can uh, add that custom knowledge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Postman so that we can push this and update our AI assistance. So with that in mind, let's copy this and let's go to Postman. Now, 
I'll just go back to pretty much the home page. So I created a work a workspace named Vappy. And once you create a new workspace, you're going to just hit new HTTP. And if we look at the documentation, what we want to do is go to the knowledge base and we want to create a new knowledge base. So first, if we just hit this list knowledge base, send a request, we can see that it's an empty array. So we're going to add our knowledge base uh, by hitting this post API. So what we're gonna do is we wanna hit this API route. So we're gonna copy this and go back to Postman and paste it in. And we can see that it is a, a post request of type post. So let's switch this to post and then authorization. You're gonna to wanna to paste in your VAPI API key. So I'm gonna paste mine in. Okay. And then now I'm gonna to navigate to body and this is gonna be of type raw. And what we want is, we wanna use this JSON provided by VAPI's documentation and we're just going to copy this. We're going to paste it in right here. Now I'm going to name mines. Eve's promotions. And this is where we're going to add in our file ID and also the URL that I pointed out earlier. So let's go back. So I'm gonna to go to tools, I'm gonna to list, I'm sorry, not tools, I'm gonna list files, send a request. And then we can see right here that we have the file that we just uploaded, the med spa promotions. Now I am going to copy this, move myself out the way. I'm gonna copy this ID go back to postman and paste in the ID right here. And then website, we're going to add in the URL. So the URL is right here. Copy this. Go back to postman and then delete this and paste it in. But I'm missing an F. Okay, so the name's gonna be Eve's Promotions. And then we have the ID that we pasted in and also the URL. Now what we wanna do is we want to hit send. Okay, so we got 201 created. So it successfully went through. Now let's just verify that on uh, VAPI knowledge bases. Let's list knowledge base and let's send a request. And we can see that we have it right here. So it all went well. All right, so we just made the post request to our VAPI AI agent. Now let's go back to our dashboard and see if we can select that new knowledge base that we just added. So I'm gonna hit refresh. Go to Eve and then select knowledge base and we can see right here, Eve's promotions. Okay, so now that we got our knowledge base added in, let's test out the agent to see if it can access the, the knowledge, the new file that we just populated it with. Hello, thanks for calling MedSpa. How can I help you today? Hi, I'm curious, do you guys have any first time client discounts? Yes, we do offer a special promotion for first-time clients. You can receive 20% off your first treatment. If you have a specific service in mind, or if you'd like to hear more about our offerings, feel free to ask. Awesome, guys. So as you guys saw, we've been able to successfully add in files uh, for our custom knowledge base for our AI agents on VAPI using VAPI's API reference along with Retrieve and Postman. 
hopefully this handled any frustrations that you've been having about not being able to get your AI agents to work with your custom knowledge. I know I did. I thought it was like a bug on my end or maybe I needed to log out and log back in. But when I realized of the recent updates, it all made sense. And I'm glad that we have a new solution that we can work with moving forward. And if you found any value out of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me stay motivated to keep pumping out content. And if you're a business that needs AI solutions to help streamline operations, I'm here to talk. You can access the link below for a discovery call. And with that note, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.